Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid, as always. It's Olivia's birthday, but it's also the Desert Festival, and this is going to be our first one because uh, this is the first year that uh, what? Sorry, yeah, this is our first year through 1.6, isn't it? So. I have no idea what this is. I don't know what to expect. I don't know when it starts. I don't know if it's an all day long kind of thing, uh, but we're gonna find out. Now I was told that um, different villagers uh, keep some sort of a, uh, what, what do you wanna call that? Like a, like a stall, some sort of uh, selling doohickey, uh, and it's different each day. So have to go each of the three days, but Beyond that, I'd also like to see about getting a dehydrator. Uh, I've forgotten where to get that, but I know we need to do it for our, uh, <laughs> what do you want to call them? Our, our newlywed raccoon friends. So, uh, gotta look for that as well. I'm going to assume we get it from, well, you know, I don't know actually. Maybe Pierre? Maybe Pierre. I'm being told it is Pierre. Okay, we're gonna drop off that giant bunny. Uh, and then, yeah. So, uh, let's do the basics, as we always do. You know the drill at this point. And then, um, we'll head into town real quick, talk to Pierre, get that dehydrator, and then it is off to the desert to uh, see what the hell a desert festival is all about. I also need to find Poke because we need to get these hearts up because we really need to start finding our other dogs that uh, quote unquote ran away. Um, <laughs> yeah, speaking of running away, uh, I went over the weekend. Uh, let's see, I'm recording this on Saturday. You're watching this maybe on Monday. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, I went today and I saw If. Uh, the boy was very, very excited since the first, um, <laughs> since the first preview. So, uh, spo I won't be talking any spoilers here. Um, I mean, not that there's an incredible amount of spoilers. It is, after all, um, a kid's movie. You kind of know, uh, <laughs> I mean, we kind of know how these things work, right? But, um, I will say that, uh, I am a crier at every every movie ever um all it takes is a slight orchestral swell and like some lens flare and i'm bawling so um i you know because i feel like movies are the time when um since i don't let myself uh I, like since i don't know how to let myself process uh any emotion ever uh when i'm watching a movie it just all comes out i, I don't know why <laughs> Uh, my kid kept looking at me like, are you crying, dude? And I was like, yep, a little bit. Do you want to fight about it? <laughs> Obviously, that's not actually what happened. Uh, it was mostly just looked at me and then we looked back at the screen. Uh, he didn't actually seem to be uh, too worried about my crying. Um, but yeah, so it was a little bit of a tearjerker, um, but not in a overly sad way, uh, kind of in a more of the... Um, Oh, like, sappy, uplifting way, but I think because, uh, for me, it had so much to do with childhood and imagination and, um, the, the loss of, um, you know, well, the loss of the imagination, uh, and the connection that has sort of to the, the, the loss of childhood, if you will, um, when you have to start thinking of things in a, uh, in a concrete, oh, the desert festival is now open. Um, when you have to start thinking about things in a, a, a concrete, like I have to do this, it has to be done by X time, da, 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 da. When you start thinking things that way, um, you know, some of that creativity gets slowly, um, either left behind or, uh, <laughs> in my life just sort of beaten out of you. <laughs> um, and that's, uh, I don't know, that, that oddly hit me, um, harder than I expected to be hit in a movie about, uh, imaginary friends. Um, I don't know, because I'm a bad person, uh, I, I don't know any of the actors' names that were in it, with the exception of, uh, Ryan Reynolds, obviously. Um, but the main character, uh, the, the, um, the young girl who was the lead, uh, was really good. Um, and I'm not like a, I don't, I don't know. I don't know shit about anything, but I especially don't know anything about, um, 
you know, ch children and childhood acting, right? But uh, I will say that I, uh, I thought she showed a wide variety of, um, like, uh, well, I mean, emotion, yes, but also uh, physically, she, she, she was just not, she was not like a one-note child. She was very um, emotive. Um, you know, in her face and the way she moved and, um, you know, the way she would speak and everything. She just, she, did, she was very good. I was, uh, I was very impressed. And, you know, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, he's either you like him or you don't. Um, <laughs> but, uh, also I didn't realize it was written by, uh, oh, what's his face? Um, oh, the quiet place guy, that guy. Um, so he was in it as well, and he's he's sort of like Ryan Reynolds too, where it's like you either like him or you don't. Uh, I am not an overly big fan of his. I know, boo hiss, boo hiss. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was. I would say that um, as I tend to do with kids' movies, if you have a kid and they want to go, just go. It's you're not gonna be. Um, it's not like an assault on your senses as some kid movies are. It was. Uh, I genuinely laughed at a few parts, and uh, yeah. It was enjoyable. Would see again. Uh, we'll probably end up watching again when it comes out uh, on streaming, I assume. Sometimes, uh, I don't know. I, I love going to the theater. I really do. But it, there is something to be said about enjoying a movie in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, super cool. Um, there was a lot of people, uh, other actors, uh, that played the ifs. Very... Um, very famous actors' voices that I couldn't place them all. Uh, I knew one was uh, John Stewart. I could recognize his voice. Um, whew, Ten thousand for that. Wow, well, thank you. Um, and I did see right as we were walking out. I barely caught the, t <laughs> the tail end. Oh, this is so dumb. But I caught the tail end of the. Um, oh, what's that called? The uh, the credits, right? And uh, there was a, um, so it's, he's in the previews, it's, this is not a, uh, a spoiler, but there's a character named Keith, and he is a, an invisible imaginary friend, like that's the joke, right? He never speaks, you never see him the whole time. Well, this is not the desert, but um, <laughs> in, the, in the credits it said Keith, voiced by Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the credit was to Brad Pitt, which is just so ridiculous. It's it was just very funny to me. But anyway, let's check out this. Uh, de oh my God! Look at the camel. Oh my God! This is okay. I don't like this dude's hands. I don't like I don't like what he's doing with them. I don't like the way his fingers are moving. It's making me very uncomfortable. He he make he makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> don't like him at all well let's see what he's got hello creepy man chef why hello there hungry um <laughs> well oh yes i'm very pleased to hear that oh oh i'd like to make you a very special dish something perfectly suited to your unique tastes may i oh very good he's turning into hedonism bot now what will you have uh, hearty beans, cave, cave loaf, rare fruit, extremely sharp cheddar, or shrimp, extremely sharp cheddar, or hearty beans sounds right up my alley, but I want extremely sharp cheddar. Ah, uh, yes, the extremely sharp cheddar. Excellent choice. Now, what kind of sauce will you have? Oh my god, I get sauce? Rich marinara, creamy, oh, <laughs> mushroom creme, cherry syrup, <laughs> uncomfortably hot sauce, well, if you know me. This isn't even a toss-up. We need uncomfortably hot. So it's very good. A healthy drizzle. Uncomfortably hot sauce to round out the dish. Oh my god, look at him with that hacking with his machete. Voila, I call it nachos of the desert. Enjoy. Oh, we get a buff from it. What do we get? Plus three attack, plus one speed. Okay, here's the thing. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? What is happening? <gasps> is there a little pet race? D oh, d uh, it's a dog in a boot. It's a dog in a boot. It's, <laughs> it's a dog in a boot. <laughs> Alert, everyone. Drop everything. There's a dog in a boot. Oh my god, this is so cool. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. 
I was just wondering, if I lived here instead of Stardew Valley, would my heart look different? Well, since you tend to work with things from nature, I would say it would have to be. It would have to be, right? Hey, where'd you find that? It would be perfect, great over fresh pasta. Yes, enjoy your dirt mushroom. Yes, okay, hold on. Race announcer, the race is currently in progress. Let's talk later. Oh, do I get to do I get to do do a thing? It was neck and neck. And neck. There was three necks. The race is current it's not. Uh the race winner is Shoe Biscuit. Oh my god, stop. Guess the winner and receive some fabulous prizes. So Shoe Biscuit, S Car Go, and Speed Rooster. <laughs> oh my god, these names are so good. What? How are you gonna? Oh. Okay, listen, I have to go with Speed Rooster. I was a big Speed Racer kid growing up. Speed Rooster, okay, now sit back and enjoy the race. I can't do that. I gotta run with him. I gotta cheer him on. Come on, Speed Rooster. Let's do this. No, we're gonna, we're gonna chill. Hard chilling. Oh, 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 I'm being told it starts in an hour. Okay, good to go, good to go. This weather's just perfect. I can't tell where my skin ends and the air begins. That is the perfect weather. You're right. Maru's wrench. <gasps> what? You can get Maru's wrench as a weapon. Well, that is very cool. We need calico eggs, uh, which I don't know what the hell that is. Um... Ancient doll, fairy seeds, rock candy. Uh, what have we here? Is this is that Sandy? It is. This is probably the busiest time of the year for me. It's nice to be able to see everyone. What you got going on, Emily? Can't believe. Can't believe what? Hmm. I'm sensing that your fashion doesn't quite match your inner feeling. Just step in the box and we'll fix you up. Well, I won't say no to that. Let's see it. Let's see what the hell we get. It can't be worse than crusty shorts. Okay, before we continue, let me visualize your aura to see what kind of style will make you happiest. If I come out completely naked, she can actually read the mind. Yes, I see. Okay, I've got it. I'm coming in, so don't be alarmed. Well, you asked for it. Oh, Sandy too, huh? Oh, okay. Oops, sorry if that tickles. Everything tickles. Oh, look, a cauliflower fritter. <laughs> Jesus. Let me use my finger to smudge this a bit. There, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Sandy's our lookout. Ah, yes, I can feel it. Your inner self and outer self are now in perfect alignment. I can't wait for you to see the new you. Oh my god, let's see it. Dun dun, no, <laughs> you're looking great. I look like a dinosaur. Oh my god, come back another day and we'll put together a fresh new look for you. So no, hold up, wait a minute. What the hell? Do I, do I, I'm actually wearing this stuff. Oh my god. This is amazing. I love this so much. I love this so, who's this cool guy? Suspicious guy. Psst. Hey kid, you been watching these races? It's pretty exciting, huh? Say, I got a little proposition for you. Just pick a racer and the next race will be a real stinker. Catch him adrift. Uh, I'll just cost you one calico edge. Small price to pay for the edge you get. Hell no. I'm not fixing races, my dude. Go and get with your bad self. It's on, Sebby. Hey, I'm just hanging out with this bird. She seems to like me. <laughs> That's no way to talk about Abigail. Did you hear that? Feeling pretty good about that egg hunt, huh? Well, next year you won't be so lucky. Oh my god. Free cactus. Oh yes, I got the perfect match for you. You ready to welcome new cactus into your life? Great, let's see. Oh my god, I love him. I love him so much. Yes, he bears a striking resemblance to you. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, looks like a bald prickly head. Doofy smile on his face. <laughs> Generally pretty solitary and sedentary. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's me. Oh, I lost a calico egg. Uh, can we fish? Is this a thing? We just threw a burger in. What? Hmm. River jelly. That is not a river. Um, I hate to inform you. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, we need to go see more. We need to go see more. Oh, I forgot about the ding dang race. Okay. Hold on. Speed rooster. 
Lewis, you suck. I think we're actually going to win this. Come on, Speed Rooster. Go, Speed Rooster. Go, Speed Rooster. Go, Speed Rooster. Go. We'll just cut that out of the... We'll just cut that out of the recording. Finish! Ow. What'd I get? Oh, 20. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay. Let's go, let's go see what else we got. Hey, I want to say hi to a camel. Hi, camel. You know, the longer you hold that down, uh, the longer you hold it down, the longer he makes noise. That's a thing. Okay. Hello. What you got for me? Nothing. All the same old stuff. Ho, ho, ho. Dark piano. 999 coal. Okay, well, I, I'm okay with working towards that. Uh, okay. So let's see. Fishy man. <gasps> Have you heard... <laughs> Try that again. Have you had much luck in the local waters? You look like you could be a strong angler if you set your mind to it. I'm level 10, man. So what's this? Willie's catch. Catch challenge. Three sandfish. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Will you, will you get out of my way? Alright, let's try this again. That was weird. The whole game just flickered. Ugh. This is not This is not working out for me. I know I probably should have talked to everyone and like seen more of what is going on before I just opted to fishing, but I can't, okay? <laughs> I started playing an MMO over the weekend and the first thing I did was find out how to get fishing and I did and then it's all I've done since. It's a problem. What the hell is this? This has to be one of these, one of them are varmint sand fish I've heard so tell about. T told, told been heard, whatever. What the hell? I really don't like this. You're not a fun fish to catch. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is worse than legendaries. This is absolutely worse than legendaries. Wow. Uh, well, that was horrible. Uh, I hated that so much. Um, <laughs> that is the first time ever I've said that about fishing. Let's see what else there is. We'll come back to that. Um, yes, sell me a pine cone. Mm, I don't need any of that. What we got going on? You heard of mirages? Sometimes when it gets hot enough out here, the air shimmers and it's like you can peer into a different world. Oh, straight eggs. Uh, mummy mask. Oh, I want that. I want that a lot. I need to come back for that. Ooh, calico statue. Also quite cool. It looks like I did see, oh, hello. Greetings, friend. Care for a test of knowledge. If you can answer my questions correctly, you'll earn a prize. What do you say? Uh, okay. Now for the first question. Who runs the animal shop in Pelican Town? Marnie. Correct. What season does artichoke grow in? <laughs> Only a... Ugh, um... Is it summer? Is it summer? We're going with summer. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Oh, and I don't even get to try again? Boo. Okay. Gil? Marlin? Hey there, Sid. Welcome to the D Adventures Guild Challenge booth. Every day we'll have a pair of challenges for you to choose from. Complete one, and the guild will reward you with a bounty of calico eggs. Once you select a challenge, you won't be able to change, change your decisions. Choose carefully. Okay, do I... Oh, shit. Well, um... Looks like we're going to level 30. That's just... It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Uh... Oh. Calico statues will also invoke various strange effects. Uh, okay. So this is not gonna go well. But we're gonna try. What the hell is this? I can't, I can't hit it. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, do we do this? No. I don't know what that is. Uh, and this is not going to go well, but we'll try, I guess. I guess we do have a pretty badass weapon, don't we? Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh! Well, hello there! Uh, that doesn't really help me much. Um, hmm. Oh, I've never done that before. Yeah, we're just gonna have to try this again tomorrow. Um, I'm sure there are... Uh, there's, there are other ways... Yeah, there are other ways we're gonna have to be able to go about doing this. So for right now, I'm gonna take this little bit of time and try and catch this fish. I see if we can at least catch one. Oh my god. Okay, so not gonna happen today. And now I also know that we should, um, oh, trash can. We, oh, look at that. Okay. Um, I also now know <laughs> that apparently we can find more eggs. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to clear out some of this space. Um, let's, da -da 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 -da. okay. I'm going to remove a few, a few of these things and then we're gonna get to bed. So I will be right back. Okay, well, that was a uh, overwhelmingly eventful day uh, for me. <laughs> I don't know how well that felt for you, uh, but that was so cool, and I cannot wait to go back tomorrow. Uh, we totally walked right by Olivia, and I didn't give her anything, um, and we didn't buy anything from either of the two villagers that had a stall open, but we did win a race uh, using old Speed Rooster, uh, but I'm excited to see what there is tomorrow. Until tomorrow, be good to each other, and good night.